The story is the relaunch of the Sun newspaper in 1969 when Rupert Murdoch bought it. And um, they had very, very few resources with which to, to relaunch a national newspaper. I would say it was sort of a kind of punk biopic about uh, the 60s. I loved this story as soon as I heard it because I, I, I remember reading an article about the war between the sun and the mirror and how in its first year the sun stole stuff from the mirror, stole features, articles, editorials. And I just love this idea of a, of a war on Fleet Street. I thought that was really cool. And I guess what happened during, during the time we were working on it was that uh, uh, the Brexit referendum happened. Um, uh, and this sort of whole rise of populism and sort of that then went on into the Corbyn momentum movement and the Trump movement and suddenly the play that was a history play felt like a very relevant play about uh, you know disenfranchised, loud, um, ballsy, occasionally controversial working class voices kind of finding an outlet. So it, it felt like a fun way to take a very isolated industry and yet tell a story that would somehow speak to what we're talking about now, which is uh, what is truth, who is telling the truth, who is lying, um, and what is the role of, of journalism in, in the 21st century. I think that you know, generation of playwrights have been afraid to give people a good time in the theatre, and one of the things that's great about James is that he wants people to love the theatre. Of course we all do, but he understands that you have to do both things in a way that Rupert Murdoch and Larry Lamb understood. If you want to transmit a message, whatever that message might be and however it might change over 50 years, whatever I might feel about it or Richard might feel about it or anyone else, like that, it, 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 first and foremost you've got to attract people's attention. See, I think a lot of this period we're looking at in his life and career was more libertarian and maybe a bit less controlling than his later life at Fox has been. Um, yeah, he's a fascinating character. I met him actually last summer and uh, you know, went straight up to him and said, we're doing a play about you, you're going to come. And uh, he seemed quite game, so you know, fair play to him. I think our job is to love our characters in the way that people love themselves. Not always unconditionally, but you have to um, sort of leave at the door any uh, politics or judgment, really. Yeah. Not, not when you're discussing the dramaturgy, not when you're discussing the uh, big picture, but, but really that's James and Rupert's job, you know, and we, we, we can have an input. Then our job is to work out what it feels like to be these people. I think if you're going to ask serious questions about politics, and we should, if you're going to ask questions of power, whether it be the media, whether it be government, whether it be um, Europe, Westminster, legislation, that you should ask that in a way that is accessible and popular and that people can um, go to a night at the theatre and both enjoy themselves but also be challenged and that not be a really controversial thing.